a chat bot is basically when you talk to someone who is a computer on a chat interface. So um, if you think about, you know, texting your friends, your friends might text back, but you can also train a computer to respond in a way that your friends might. Or in the case that is more common in industry, someone might have a question or a complaint about um, some product from a company and that company wants to be able to respond to as many people as they can. Um, so they might employ a chatbot to respond to customers' con complaints and concerns, um, at least the very common ones, so that they can free up time for their um, human agents to handle the more complicated cases. The chatbot asks you if you need any help. You say, yes, I expected my package to arrive yesterday. It did not. The chatbot, because it has seen many, many, many examples of someone saying that their package didn't arrive on time, can then understand what you're saying and go into an algorithm that is meant to solve your issue. So they may say, I'm sorry to hear about that. Can you give me your tracking number? And then you provide the tracking number. It again has seen lots of tracking numbers, knows that it's a tracking number, knows to go look it up in a database and return the status of your package. So it'll say, I'm so sorry that your package has been delayed. It was last seen in Santa Monica on Thursday and it should get here today. We're, we apologize for the wait. So in that way, you're interacting with the computer in a way that you would interact with a human being in a customer service capacity. One drawback that my chatbot might have is that it could not understand something as much as you want it to. So when you, it's not like you just feed a sentence in and the chatbot spits a sentence out and you're sure it's right. It gives you a number, which we call confidence, that tells you how sure it is of what you said. So if you have a low confidence, you might not be right. In that case, you, you know, machine learning works just like people. If it practices more, it gets better. So the more data you add, the better. Sometimes you don't have that data, so it can be difficult for the, the chatbot to understand what you're saying if it hasn't seen a lot of examples. That's one fairly typical drawback in some cases where you just don't have enough data.